Iran and steel sector alone accounts for about 8% of global greenhouse gas emissions. Steel is a bedrock of the modern economy. But 70% of global production of primary steel still relies on carbon-intensive blast oxygen furnaces. Decarbonization standards are part of what we are trying to look at. They provide the basis for calculating greenhouse gas emissions embedded in products. Our work with the steel sector has indicated a large and growing number of standards, at least 20, each with different underlying methodologies. The fact is that proliferation and fragmentation adds costs and uncertainty as producers struggle to make sense of a divergent array of competing policy requirements. Uncertainty about market conditions can in turn put the brakes on investments in cleaner technology. The good news is that there is technology and capability to decarbonize it. So uh, green steel can exist. That is the opportunity for our industry to sell green steel on a global basis. In our preliminary estimates, and I think other steel companies would have similar numbers, the cost to decarbonize steel is not so prohibitive, so the system could take it. Uh, I think the cost of steel would go up by 10 to 20 percent. And to put that in context, if you were to buy a car, the cost of a car would theoretically go up by 100 to 200 dollars. But again, 10 to 20 percent for the steel industry is a lot because we have low margins. So if we don't have a level playing field at that level of cost, if someone comes in and undercuts, then, then steel companies which are producing decarbonized steel will not have a viable business model. We have different expectations in different parts of the world. In the developed world, by and large, the focus now is on CO2 reduction in the process. Whereas in the developing world, we are here, the refrain that says, yes, we understand the, the need to reduce CO2, but also we need to grow our economies, which is very important for us. I'm glad to see that WTO is highlighting that private sector, more than ever, have a critical role to play. Take your seat, be loud, and implement what we're deciding in the negotiation room. But whatever we decide, it is the private sector is going to deliver. It's the financial industry who's going to deliver. It's our youth who's going to deliver. It's our women on the front line who's going to deliver. Let's join forces. This is why, a little, why we're here, a little bit of why we're here. Because what's the value proposition of the, of the WTO? Having a forum that is dedicated to trying to reduce trade frictions as the WTO does, I think it's, it's very useful because here is a place where frictions arising from different standards and regulations uh, can be discussed.